Good morning. Um, those of you who have been following these videos will know that I have recently installed in the car a Metlus um, music player and that there's no CD drive in it. It just does. There's an auxiliary in in the front where you can plug in your iPod and what have you. But the bits I'm interested in, the smart cards and USB cards, um, and it'll play MP3s. I've built up quite a collection of MP3s um, over the years. Uh, a lot of it is music I've bought off uh, iTunes, etc, etc. Um, and I instantly started running into problems. I thought it would be great just sort of copy the, uh, the files over to the smart card and you know the thing would play it just like iTunes. Well it doesn't as it turns out. It's very very picky about ID3 tags. Now the unit which is um, a Kaliba will accept a smart card that's got a thousand mp3s on it, four gigs or a thousand mp3s. Um, that's an awful lot of mp3s to sort out the ID3 tags on individually. In fact it's a total pain in the ass. so I instantly started getting lost in um, looking up software that would do the whole thing for me automatically. I hopefully load the mp3s into it and um, it'll shoot off to the internet somewhere, uh, get all the relevant information, fill it in and then I'll have mp3s which are suitable for uh, loading onto the smart card and thence into the car. Um, the actual unit itself has proved a huge success. I've got no CDs rattling down around in the car. It's very loud, 75 watts per channel. It's great. This is the only hassle, is sorting out these ID3 tags. So, having messed around with several programs, I thought I'd do a little video to show you the best one I've found, the one that actually works, and how it works, and um, how to do this. Because soon, everyone is going to go mech plus CDs and DVDs and what have you, obviously on the way out. Um, Everything is going to be digital. So hopefully this little vid will show you how it works. Okay, I've gone over to a desktop recording and the program I found best, and I messed up with uh, quite a few of them, is one called Music Brains Picard. Um, and this goes off and gets, you load MP3 files into it uh, by drag and drop. And it'll go off and get information on all the MP3 tracks it can uh, from the internet and um, then allow you to save those mp3 tags. So first of all I made a new folder, gone over to iTunes and selected Led Zeppelin. What's the point of having an extremely loud um, car stereo without Led Zeppelin? So here we go, I've selected some of my Zeppelin mp3s. I've put them in a folder called Music for Tags and it's just copying them over and the next stage will be to copy them over to Music Brains Picard. We'll hide iTunes, open up the folder I've just copied the MP3s to, select all the MP3s and drag them over. I've dragged them over into the wrong place. I've forgotten which place to drag them over to. Um, so try again. I only have used this program once. There they go. Right, and you will see the list go down as it goes out onto the internet to get information about these files. Obviously it has to have something to work with. Um, you have to have some information in there. It is going through all these files that I've just dragged over and sorting them out into albums. Now there's some duplication here because obviously some of the albums that uh, some of the tracks Led Zeppelin did, did appear on their later albums, you know, Greatest Hits and the compilation ones, so uh, Music Brain Picard lists them all. Um, any files left over you can select and then click Look Up in the menu bar. Um, that file looks alright to me, I can't see, can't see much wrong with that. Um, you can check on the panes below, then you go through the albums, the way you save it is you save them by album check out any files that have highlighted in red and that's an indication that Music Picard 
is unsure or perhaps has duplicate information about that particular track. If it all looks alright, that's okay. I'm pretty lazy. Now, if you want your album sorted out into... Um, you, know, you have to eliminate the duplication, rather, over in this right-hand pane. So that if you want a track, say, say Led Zeppelin 3, rather than a later compilation album, just don't save the album, um, the later compilation one. Just save uh, the earlier one, Led Zepp 3. But it's great, then you just right click on it, click save, and it'll save all the information of all the tracks in that album. They come up green after you've done it. Turn green, show that it's all okay. Um, and that's fine, you've got your IG3 tags are in place. I'll put a link to Music Brains Picard below.